Green Technologies For green fuels and reduce global warming Global warming is the one of the most serious issue affecting our world today. Our planet is warming up faster than ever due to the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation. These activities in turn pumps more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The primary contributor to global warming has been identified as presence of high levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. As per the Paris Agreement, all countries are working hard to cut greenhouse gas emission to meet their set targets. European Union targeted to reduce minus 40% by 2030 compared to 1990, with long-term goal of minus 80% by 2050. These targets can be achieved mainly by using carbon capture and utilization, or by carbon capture and storage technologies. Carbon capture and storage is a technology that capture up to 90% of the carbon dioxide from large sources like factories and power production plants, and storing it in some depleted oil and gas fields. Carbon capture and utilization technology uses carbon dioxide from the atmosphere for producing other renewable products that can be used as environmental friendly. Researchers and many companies are also working on multiple technologies and chemical process that can make use of the billions of tons of excess carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and thereby prevent global warming. Inspired by photosynthesis, an Ontario researcher has discovered an inexpensive process to convert carbon dioxide into a liquid fuel using sunlight. This process artificial leaf, can be used by anyone or industry that produces carbon dioxide. An engineering professor at the University of Waterloo, Yimin Wu, who led the research said, we call it an artificial leaf because it mimics real leaves in the process of photosynthesis. A leaf produces glucose and oxygen, we produce methanol and oxygen. Plants uses a catalyst present in the chloroplasts to split the water into hydrogen and oxygen. However in newly identified process, researchers used an inexpensive, optimized red powder called cuprous oxide as catalyst. Cuprous oxide is created through a chemical reaction caused by adding hot water into four substances, glucose, copper acetate, sodium hydroxide and sodium dodecyl sulfate. Researchers then uses a solar simulator to direct white light onto the mixture of water and cuprous oxide, into which carbon dioxide is blown. The reaction produces oxygen, while converting carbon dioxide in the water powder solution into methanol. The methanol is then collected as it evaporates when the solution is heated. New process is 10 times more efficient than photosynthesis in plants and removes carbon dioxide from air. The methanol produced from the process can be used as a substitute for fossil fuels and cuts down greenhouse gas emission. Climeworks, a Swiss company, opened the world's first commercial carbon dioxide filtering module in Hinwil. These modules captures carbon dioxide directly from air. This company is currently collaborating with others to study the feasibility of a new plant that will turn that carbon dioxide into renewable jet fuel. Another group of researchers from the University of Cambridge have developed a silicon-based device that uses sunlight, carbon dioxide and water to directly generate syngas, without releasing additional carbon dioxide. In shot, technologies like carbon capture and process like artificial leaf are very much essential for reducing global warming, that in turn reduces Earth's surface temperature, rising sea level, expansion of deserts and extreme weather events like heat waves. What do you think? Have you ever concerned about the impacts from climate change? You can also contribute to reduce carbon emissions by making changes in everyday actions that reduce your carbon footprint. Join us if you would like to receive more videos about new technologies, discoveries, innovations and lot more. If you learn anything new today, subscribe, like and share with your friends.